Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow. I am using version 9.0.1. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use markers in the timeline of your ScreenFlow project. In ScreenFlow 9, markers are visible in the timeline above the video tracks indicated by these orange marks. You can also add markers to individual clips. You will see markers on clips in purple and they are located at the bottom of the clip. To add a marker, just drag the playhead to a time on the video where you want to add the marker. Go to the top menu, click on Mark, Markers. You can click on Add, or you will see there is a keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut to add a marker is the backtick key, or the tilde key. So the backtick key is located in the top left corner of your keyboard, below the escape key, and next to the number one. So I've got my playhead at the time where I want to add a marker and I'm just going to tap on the back tick key. You get this little pop up where you can give it a title or you can enter in a note or a comment here. I'm just going to remind myself to add a graphic there. I'll click on the create there or enter return. If I click off it, you'll see here it just added a marker. To move a marker, just click and drag it to a new location. Double click on a marker if you want to edit or change the name of a marker. Hit enter or return or click OK after you've made changes. Press the shift key and tap on the up arrow to jump from marker to marker in the forward direction. To go in the reverse direction, with the shift key still pressed, tap on the downward arrow and that will go from marker to marker in the backwards direction. Right click on any marker and you will see all of the markers that you have already added to your timeline. Just click on one and the playhead will jump to that marker. You can also add a marker by right clicking or control clicking. So if I want to add a marker, I'll just drag the playhead to where I want it. Right click at the very bottom, you will see add marker. And if I want to delete it, I can right click again, go to the very bottom, delete marker. You can delete all the markers on the timeline by going up to the menu, mark, markers, delete all, and finally, you can easily manage all of your markers on the timeline by going to the window menu and select markers. This is showing all of the markers that are currently on your timeline. You can just click on the arrow and it'll move the playhead to that marker. You can change the name of a marker, just double click on it. The right column is showing the time, where it is located on your timeline. And you can also change the location. So I can just double click on that and I can change this to 50 seconds. It'll move that marker from 20 seconds up to 50 seconds on the timeline. You can also delete and add markers from this marker panel. With this selected, I can just come down here, I can click on the minus key and it will remove that from the timeline. And if you want to drag your playhead to a place in the video and add a new marker, just click on the plus symbol and you'll add a new marker where you can just type in the marker's name. So the easiest way to add a marker on your ScreenFlow timeline, just drag the playhead to a location on the timeline, tap on the back tick key or the tilde key in the top left corner of your keyboard, give it a name, hit enter or return or click on create. My name is Mike Murphy and that is how you use markers in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.